<sighs> well folks, this 1997 five speed 12 valve Dodge 2500 is, well, it's actually a parts truck. Pretty weird to think all the trucks that I've went through and saved that were in equal or worse condition than this, I went ahead and saved, but not this one. Salvage title, no good for me. That makes resale value not worth it. And I have an awesome plan for this 1966 crew cab. Gonna go right on the top. So we're gonna go back to my roots, fire up the camera, because we're gonna start tearing to this thing. I wanna get some progress today, at least get the bed off and start soaking the frame, see what we got to work with back there. We got some busted stuff. Where's our rifle? Here we go. Here, buddy. Me a favor if you see anything on here that you think you might want to buy don't ask if it's for sale i'll use it for something someday don't worry about it three minutes into this i got eight bolts out factory eight and broke some wires because the clips wouldn't come undone and i'm wearing about 19 pounds more dirt than i was a second ago so now got a weird big chunk of steel for a gooseneck ball in there we gotta take that out. I got vice grips under the bottom, clamping it. They don't have, these dogs don't have thumbs to hold something for me down there. So vice grips will do it, impact it out. Really hoping that this works. Oh, we don't have to go back underneath there. Except for hooking the front. I gotta go back underneath there. First, I'm gonna dump out my floor bucket. The other one came off, but not this ones came out perfect. So did that one. Next rig ain't gonna need this stock bumper. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna continue to do any tear down, rebuild content on this channel or to switch it all over my personal channel. That's on there, guys. Let's come back to that. Let me know in the comments. Where are you guys going on this one? Been working on the charger all day. Got the new exhaust put on. sound nice plus the cutouts make it sound even nicer that'll be definitely on the other channel 
Get this off here. Oh, it came right off. Right off. You gotta save this bumper hardware. It's real nice because it's got a little keeper on the back side. These are doubled. So they only need to do, you know, half the work. What the hell was that, a rat's nest? Okay. Dost is even hooked up. Oh, there's my ice grips that did the job earlier. It's got tight things on there. Did the job. I'm gonna move it over here, give her a soak, and uh, pressure it off. Give her the old dollar store oven cleaner treatment. Get out of here, dogs. It's gonna get thick. Got the fan blowing behind me. A pile of rat crap right there. Soak in there. Drilled the holes in the top of the frame, which looks like factory did that all over the place. Not recommended. Oh. But also, they missed a couple holes over there. I know the guy that owns this. If he watches some video, I've seen that. Plus, why is that loose? You got a loose hose clamp there? What's going on? I didn't touch that. All right, pressure washer time. There's a glimpse of what it looks like all dried out. No rot, just the cap. Well, Obviously it's wet, so it's gonna make it look like it's shining. But nevertheless, I've been at this process for, I don't know if I have a full hour into this. What's it, uh, eight bolts to pull the bed off, plus the extra four, so we got 12, and then six on the back. Not really that many bolts, but now we got the project actually started. So I know a lot of you guys, oh, save the truck. I've saved a lot of these trucks. I would say probably have saved more than anybody really picked up a lot of these trucks over the years and saved them all this is the first one that you know is you know a usable truck that's going to be nothing now and uh looking underneath here oh it does it's got the dhd heavy duty transfer case a lot of them you know you get the dld with the light duty but never never fear this old girl's ready to rock let's go over here and i'll show you guys remind you what this is you know gonna be underneath come on dogs squeaking the squeaker at me if you guys follow the other channel you'll see the monster lee already this thing i'm gonna tame it down a little bit it's sitting on 38s it's a 1969 it's a true rt charger look how tall that sucker is yeah she's a big girl sitting on a dodge 1500 second gen frame they relocated the rear end which is pretty much what i'm going to be doing on this rig over here so I got a pretty solid box. It's got a couple dings here and there. Stuff that we can pull out. But it's a 1966 Dodge Crew Cab. I have a little bit of cancer down here in the rockers. But the floorboard is solid as could be. Except for that one hole. Driver's side, good to go. I had them somewhere in here. I thought I did. But for like 50 bucks a side, I can buy new rockers. And I'm not going to mess with the top part for the step. But normally it goes in over there. But boom, boom. Metal work's already done for you. This old girl is sitting on a 98 frame short bed with a 12 valve in it. Yeah. So this 12 valve frame is too short for this truck. It's got the short bed extended cab. But it'll work out perfect so I can put a Cummins and a charger. 
Yep, that's another sin. <laughs> I was going to have to check that box off at some point or another, and we're going to do it right now. Get these projects wrapped up, but I mean, it's going to go down quite a bit. It'll be sitting how that truck is over there. Not really that big a deal, but probably put some smaller tires on it. Probably even lower it down a little bit more, because that one's got like 6-inch lift over there. But still want to be able to fit the 12-valve in it, and that's how I'm going to be able to do it. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Check out the other channel. More than likely, a lot of this content is going to get swapped over. Uh, I never really planned on the V-Belt and Sun channel to be a Dodge pickup restoration kind of thing. And, well, it had momentum, and I wanted to utilize that. So, carried it on, and, you know, I've done a couple pretty sweet builds on the V-Belt and Sun channel. But now that my passion's always been, you know, mechanic and stuff, the Cummins, when I found out that was in a Dodge, I thought that was the coolest thing ever. You know, when I was like in eighth grade or something. But I always wanted one of these. Now I got two of them and a couple challengers. And these things, these are a different beast to, you know, try to tame. But I want to work on those and I want to utilize my skills that I picked up over the years. And I want to change them over to other, you know, classic rig, classic rigs. So get this thing fired back up, put it back over in its parking spot. I keep it on the trickle charger, trying to bring those jail cell batteries back around. I mean, they're staying alive. Anyway, talking a lot. See you guys in the next one. Let me know what you guys think of a little progress here. We got a nice, clean, straight frame. No issues. Did want to point out, I believe they stabbed an extra leaf underneath here. Possibly. They look factory, but I haven't seen them labelize that kind of stuff. Those might be added on because that bolt's sticking up too high. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below. See you guys. Check out the other channel. Subscribe to this one. Like it. Do every button you can hit except for the dislike one. Appreciate it. See ya.